Consult the diagrams throughout your instruction guide to better understand the assembly and installation of this evaporative cooling system frame. With the rough opening marked for your cooling system, locate the 120-inch flashing, measure and cut flashing to fit frame section. Install flashing as a single piece cut to fit around frame members, or shorten each piece and trim to fit between end wall vertical frame members. Begin by installing the bottom flashing. Attach flashing to end wall frame as shown using tech screw space 24 inches on center. Repeat steps to completely install the bottom flashing. Move to the upper string line and install the upper flashing using the same procedure as the bottom flashing. Repeat steps to completely install the upper flashing. Once flashing is installed, install the 2 by 3 tubes for the lower stringer. With assistance, carefully lift one stringer and set it in place. Make sure the stinger is level and clamp in place. Using the 90 degree angle bracket, install stringer to frame with 4 tech screws. Make sure to check the stringer is level throughout its length. Install the second tube into place by sliding the tapered end of tube into the plain end of the attached frame section. Clamp in place and verify that stringer is level. Once level, pre-drill tubes at splice and secure using two tech screws. Secure this section of lower stringer in place using same procedure with tech screws and 90 degree angle brackets. Repeat steps until you reach the end of the lower stringer. With the bottom stringer installed and before installing the upper stringer, align stringer ends and verify rough opening is correct. Repeat steps to attach the upper stringer to the building frame using brackets and tech screws. Exercise caution when setting and clamping the stringer in position. With stringers installed to the end wall, install one vertical square 2x2 two two tube between the upper and lower stringers. Measure and cut the square tube needed for the vertical end of the frame. Align edge of square tube in place using level and square to ensure tubes are plumb. Mark location of the bracket holes and attach bracket to lower stringer using tech screws. Place the square tube between the upper and lower stringer, and secure the lower bracket using tech screws. With the square tube plumb and straight, use a clamp to secure top of vertical frame tube in place. Attach square tube to upper stringer using an angle bracket and tech screws. Repeat steps to install the remaining 2x2 two two vertical tube. With the stringers installed, it is time to install the side flashing to close the open areas between the frame and end wall cladding. Take one section of the side flashing, which is the same length as the 2x2 two two frame tubes, and secure flashing to the tube along the edge using clamps and tech screws. Space tech screws at approximately 24 inches on center. After installing tech screws to secure flashing along the edge, install angled brackets at the bottom and top of the 2x2 two two vertical tube. Attach brackets through the installed flashing using tech screws for each bracket. Repeat the steps to attach the side flashing at the remaining end of the frame. After the side flashing is installed, wipe down frame to remove any metal shavings before sealing frame with supplied tape. Measure and cut tape to seal joints between flashing and framing. Peel and tape areas as shown to seal any joints or open areas not closed by the flashing. This completes the installation of the evaporative cooling system metal frame. If you have questions, please contact our customer service department at 1-800-245-9881.